just you know doot doot a loot doot <laughs> doot doot a doot 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 keep on rocking in the free world joe all right man Thanks. have a great day bye bye that my friends was a little cue from nardwar <laughs> some of you guys know who nardwar is <laughs> so there you go well, I'm gonna get at the cruiser because I don't want to spend too much money. Even though I have like so much fucking money in my in my bank. Your microphone is is feeding back again, a wood. Ah, oh, damn it! Not, not that it's feeding back. It's just when there's like a gap in game audio, I can it's hissing a little bit and it's it's noticeable. Do you want to perhaps go into the options and lower your mic a bit? Yeah, that's probably the best. Oh, look at this guy. Killing everyone. Dirty dirty two two one. So he's killing everyone, this dirty dirty person? Yes. Is he on our, he's in our crew though. Yeah. Should we remove him from the session? Let's see where he takes this. Maybe it was like Accidental. I don't know. No, I'm I'm in I'm in call. Wait, that's you? No, I, that's not me. Uh, someone in chat said, "Is cool name still out of the call?" No, oh, he's been in the call for a while. I I invited him back. Don't worry. Can I get my bike delivered to me? I don't think so. You have to go to your apartment. Damn it. These cop cars sound like squealing children at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder. I just someday. saw a police cruiser ram a guy on the bike. <laughs> I just saw your ambulance drive by. How did I survive that? Something amazing just happened, guys. Something magical just happened. I landed on my feet from something that I should not have landed on my feet for, and it was... It, oh, God, it was like a, a, a Christmas morning jack. Now your mic is so low we can't hear you. <laughs> Maybe somewhere between this and and like buzz loud. Uh, yeah, I can that. All right, right down the middle in the options. That better? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Well, I got my bike. Mr. Ambulance Driver. Oh. oh. How is my character magnetically sticking to this ambulance? The wonders of physics. Uh, see, I'm telling you. You do that on a bus, it, it just works. You can you can do that on the, um... I think on the, the cargo trucks as well. You, you, yeah, you, you will just yeah, you will just stick onto the top of the the cars and it's it. You can't you know, do it with like the actual convertibles and shit. Okay, that's good to know. But this is this is like incredible. I would love to do more of this. But the thing is, there's like utter chaos happening all around us. But at the top of this ambulance, we're having a fappy good time. No problems. A peace ambulance. It's. Just amazing. Wait, oh, yeah, you might want to watch out though, because if you bump into something, you might fall off. No, it's fine. I want you to bump into something, whoever's driving. Deja, could you perhaps find a way to get me off of this ambulance in the most spectacular fashion possible? You can maybe, like, I don't know, jump off the cliff and turn, like, make a 360, like, barrel, maybe? Whoa!
Whoa! <laughs> someone just crashed. You, you know right. those jumps near the airport, like the ones that go completely vertical? That would be Do fun. those. No fucking way. It's amazing. Even if you get knocked off of an ambulance at full speed, you will land on your feet with no recovery animation needed. You're just fine. Oh my god. What is this clusterfuck going on here? <laughs> what? My frames uh, are tripping. What am I watching? Oh, it's, that's. I'm not even sure anymore. All right, fellas, I'm ready to perk. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this should be like a promo video for this game. Like, seriously, if I saw this in a commercial, I would buy it without hesitation. Whoa. Holy shit. Let me just angle this just right. Thanks, Deb. Just, just for turning the favor. I'm just jacking your neck off real quick. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm, what? No, get me back on. Get me back on, Chief. You're rolling like what, R Vinny? I, from my screen, I could just see that Vinny's just rolling on the road with like nothing causing it. I am literally running out of cars to drive. C G strat. We better stop. We better stop. Wait for Vinny. It's too late. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! The ride never ends. I'm getting off. See you guys. They've gone too far. course with the stupid fucking horn. <laughs> Brilliant. That was quick. I, should we go back to pure chaos? Oh, I would like for all of us to ride on the ambulance. If possible. Alright. Alright. Alright, let, let me order an ambulance then. We got no, right they just stomping. Alright. There's that guy trying to jump onto it. <laughs> Alright, everyone get on here. Everyone start jacking as soon as I'm you get coming. on. Hold your dicks, I'm coming. Oh god. <laughs> Man, I swear, Serp, you better not fuck this Serp. up. Serp! Oh! Whoa! Oh. Serp! Shit! I'm gonna lob C4 into that. I got him. Good. <laughs> Alright, everyone face forward. To, like, towards the front of the, the ambulance. And, and Jack. Well, shouldn't we just all get a big circle? Wouldn't that be better? Or whatever. Yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, that works. Well, uh, uh, we've already made a productive stream already. Yep. This is this is what, what what we do. This is what happens when the tools are given to us by the developer. <laughs> Keep jacking, everyone. Keep jacking. <gasps> oh, okay. This is strange. This is weird. That's I'd... not supposed to happen. We're like clipping into each other while we're going. I don't know why, but as we do that, we also fall back. I don't. I'm really. I think I got an. I got a better. I, I think I got a better idea. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go find a cargo truck. And yes. A lot of space. Oh yes. Thing is, I'm pretty sure that's out in the in the county. So I'll be right back. Sorry, I fell off. Oh yes, look me in the eyes. <laughs> it's a very intense moment. Cool name. I was wondering if you could find the most, or Deja. I'm sorry, Deja. Can you find the most 
like I- incredible way for us to get tossed off of this thing. I can crash a plane into you, but I don't think that's extreme enough. No, that's not gonna really be fun. Unless, unless you level the plane like just above the ambulance, so it only hits everyone on top of it. I can get one of the stunt planes. I could probably pull that off in that if you find a nice straightaway. <laughs> there are fifteen hundred people watching us jack off on top of an ambulance. I'd say that's a success. I'm I really am happy people find this very entertaining. Really, like, you people, like, 1,500 people have, like, such great taste in entertainment. This is what they do. <laughs> they could be watching, like, Sunday shows and, like, sports and, like, good stuff. And it's just, on my screen now is a snowman in a leather jacket jerking off on an ambulance. But that's okay. That's what you want. We're here for you. We provide a service. We don't judge. You know, we're, we're a non-judgmental video game stream. We only ever just wanted to jack each other off on an ambulance. <laughs> Pegasus isn't letting me get the stunt plane. Like, what's happening? Is it like, uh... Oh, we're at the airport now. We already gave you the vehicle. Except in a more girly voice. Um, I think you're, you're that the, the previous vehicle that you still have is still, like, not destroyed. I think that's why. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, you're gonna do that again! I, I was still able to jack in midair. <laughs> it was great! <laughs> You guys, watch your streams. Ah, uh, that's the worst part about. Ah, <laughs> uh, the worst part about my setup is that I'm I, my Xbox and PC share the same monitor. I have to switch its source. It's okay. It's alright. Uh, you'll see it you, one day. You'll see it. Jacking Frost. That's that's what his name is. My character. Such a fitting name. I'd watch a movie about that. And like almost the exact same thing just happened. I just saw it. <laughs> oh my god. How the fuck does that even happen? I'd say that's extreme enough. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it could be done even better. What are you proposing? I'm... Oh. Oh, I got knocked off the ambulance. Well, well so wait, if, if you're on the ambulance and you fall off a cliff, what mm. if we go... What if we go to the top of this, like, 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 go to the peak of Mount Chilid, and, uh, we jump off, like, a cliff, and see how long it will, like, you can stay jerking in midair. High elevation jerking. That is Actually, genius. Yeah, I, I think we should a, do that. We can get a cargo bob and place you at the top of the Maze Bank building. <laughs> oh shit! That which is supposed to save my life has killed me. Yeah, let's get a cargo bob. Um, and let's get an ambulance on top of either Mount Chiliad or on top of the, the biggest building, the Maze Bank building, whatever. That obvious. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it manually in your mind. Hook down the boat. Uh, hooked on the brothers, 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 the brothers. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm somewhat jealous they can do so much damn voice impressions. Did you ever take up probably like a career in voice acting? Uh, I would, but I'm too lazy to look into it. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that I just kind of hope things happen. You know, like one day I'll just get a call from Steven Spielberg. And he's like, hey, I would love for you to voice a raptor in the next Jurassic Park movie. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Perfect. That would be cool. You're hired. First great impression. I don't <laughs> This is very, very serene. 
Whoa, 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 whoa! You interrupted my jack. Okay, alright, let me get on okay. top of the, uh, of the ambulance here. Whoa, people are jumping off. Don't jump off till I can land. <laughs> Guess he's dead. I didn't mean to fly up then bail. And I'll... Is, is someone else already driving? Yeah, Deja's driving. You can join us on the top if you'd like. Nope, nope, I miss, I miss. <laughs> no! Come on, cool name. Join us on the top. No! Oh no, something bad's gonna happen right now. I can sense it. Something go with really them. bad is gonna happen. Oh god. Okay, we got lucky. I think that was my helicopter hitting the ground. All right, let's do it. Oh, Jesus. Is it happening? No. Someone just parked their fucking cargo bob on top of the Maze Bank building. Please. Actually, that probably gives me enough time to grab another cop chopper. No, it's, it's we're doing this now. I gotta see this. I I don't know how I died. Oh my god, my post death thing! I saw our souls descend into hell. <laughs> I think the force of the dude behind me. Killed me in midair. <laughs> really, I I think we knocked into each other and he killed me. He whacked me off. That's what. It said. <laughs> what a perfect, what a perfect description of your death. And the ambulance is just fine. All right, I'm gonna grab another cargo bob and try it again. Character's foot is all like fucked up. <clears throat> Say, Vinny, are you up for a round of golf? No. No, not after today. <laughs> not a chance. What about tennis? Actually, that's only two players, but you and Ben could do it or something. Yeah, but it's that. That's at least better than what happened to me earlier in NES Remix. I think I might consider doing a reel of that. That's hilarious. No, don't. don't. That's it, it was poop. It that's, wasn't, that's, it wasn't that's, that funny. Okay. Well, I got the cargo truck. If you want to try that? Yeah. What's the? Okay, I got three stars. <laughs> I got four. Yeah, I need four if I want to make this work. Radio gun boo boo. It's so, uh, it, it, it can, the song gets kind of like tiring after hearing it for like for so much. Yeah, I wish there it, was, it was more rock songs in this game. This the soundtrack is, is very lacking, to be quite honest. It has some moments, but yeah, it's mostly like stuff that I don't really care about. I get to say it. If they had just stuck to like you know five genres or, or four genres instead of. Ten gen genres. I think I would be much happier. I can't wait till they do what they did in the GTA 4 on the PC version. They added the, the uh, Liberty Radio that you plays your own music. You mean the Independence FM? Oh that's yeah. Kind of, that. That's kind of like in every GTA. It's, it's going to be in GTA 5 for PC. And it plays your own music with advertisements. Oh boy, you know, because that's the one thing that was missing from my playlist. I sometimes I want to learn about what douche would be great for my pussy. 
there are times when I'm not sure how I can best handle my pussy's needs. So if I'm playing GTA and I'm listening to Led Zeppelin when the levee breaks, oh, well, my period pussy levee breaks. So of course I'm going to buy a douche at that moment in time. I'm going to get a sound recording of that. Okay. No, you don't. No, no, Dem. Don't do it. Off no, the sound cloud. No, 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 you, you, you fucked up. You fucked up. Just that let shit me, is... uh, Just let me email the NSA for the recording of that. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll keep an eye up for the train and see where it is. Well, um, only one train can spawn in the game at a yeah. time. Well, as long as no one hasn't, like, spotted the train already, then... Oh, this is bad. I think my copter will will give up soon. Let me just drop you into this pit here, sure, maybe. Sure. Okay. Oh. Go, go, get your chance now. Not good enough. What? What? Nope, missed it. How the, you went from the other side. You just changed spot. That's bullshit. And I killed two tool. I'm sorry, bruh. Uh. It's time to slam jam. We have one more chance before the tunnel. We gotta do this really fucking skillfully. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright, cops. Ah. Let's see what you can do. I guess I'll provide some air support. And my copter just gave out. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, at least we got the VIP into the destination. Mission successful. Yeah. Calvary has arrived. Jesus Christ. Man, actually, I would really wish it when, when Rockstar releases, like, the, uh, the updated version of the content creator where we can actually do missions, I want a mission just like this. Yeah, this would be cool. This would be really cool if this was, like, a legit thing. This train doesn't even really go that fast. Maybe if you shoot the driver, maybe that will make it faster. <sighs> oh my god. I'm gonna keep up my wanted level. Okay, the wanted level is, is renewed. Wow. Wow, the air support is insane. And I just w lost the one in level. Oh, come on. The train is slowing down, I think. It's weird. Are people trying to park their vehicle in front of you? No, it's, it's fine now. There they are. Fireworks. Bring it on. I don't see any cops now, actually. Uh, I think that uh, when more people get wanted, oh they, might split, they might split forces. Okay. Maybe, I'm not quite sure. Thing is, like, they can't, the server can't handle too much shit. Oh, so. they found us again. For a second, and they stopped. Police helicopter. Here we go. Boom. You saved my ass. Oh, God! Mission failed. Dirty, dirty 22 killed me. Critical mission fail here. How, 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 did, he, how did he kill you, though? So, so Joel wants to join in. Does anyone want to leave the session? So we. I think we might have to say that Dirty that Dirty Harry might be I the think candidate. He's a troll. Yeah, I think he's a troll. 
I don't see a troll, but uh, with the shit that he's caused, I think it's rather dust boot for him. I don't want to be an. I don't want to sound like an asshole, so I don't know. It's up to you, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think we we should get rid of dirty dirty. I don't I don't know. Joel wants to join in. I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing for, which is a problem, but. I think we, we'll get rid of Dirty Dirty and see if Joel can join. You want to do right. that? So we're, how do how do we get rid of him anyway? You know how to on online players. Oh, and right. online okay. Players. Um, Dirty Dirty, can you just leave and make this easy for us? You've you've ruined our mission. You want an airlift back to the chopper? Um, no, that doesn't I mean to the train. Ah, uh, see, the thing is, I really hate, I really hate like the tone of voice that like, you use. And it, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to make people sound like, like they did something really, really wrong. What, dirty, dirty? Yeah. Well, he, I'm, like, I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. He didn't mean to do it, but this is a like third time. Yeah. I, I don't think anyone's gonna leave on purpose anyway, so. Do like a short, short thing from here on out, but we'll see. I might, I might just eat later on. It, maybe I'll make myself some hot dogs, turtle dick. Maybe like some pig, pig dicks and turtle dicks. That that's good. a great, that's a great way to join the call. Thanks. What pig, <laughs> pig dicks and turtle dicks? Mm -hmm. Hot turtle dicks, hot dogs, hot dogs and pickles. Pizza party? Not, not tonight. I wish. How you doing? Uh, well, you know. Aside from the, you know, the fun. Yeah. So I had to format my entire 360 hard drive, which was great because you know I didn't even do anything. So supposedly, GTA has killed Dick in awesome. every game I have. Even Fist of the North Star, I, I, oh. I was supposed to finish off. So you know. That sucks, man. Yeah. It happened to me too. I lost all my progress in this game. And I, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do it again. Yeah. Let's fuck this Microsoft bullshit. Yeah. So now we need to get you in the game, so... Um, you know, it actually reminds me... Oh wait, you're you know, in the game. Yeah, I am okay. in the game. You know, talking about the the Microsoft thing and everything. You know, I was spending uh, Christmas with my mothers and I, I couldn't, like... I couldn't ignore the fact that I heard this, like, kid that, you know, we had a GameStop and... It's other Sweden where my mom is, and I swear to God, this this uh, clerk was going like, "You don't want a Wii U. That's yesterday's hardware. You want a PS4." And I'm just like, "Well, I'm about the games, you know. I'm not. I'm not trying to like, you know, pick sides here or nothing like that. But, but yesterday's hardware, like, like it matters, you know. I don't know, but it just rubbed me the wrong way because like." Are, are clerks supposed to do that? I don't know, man. Um, not really. I, I probably would it's warn people off of shitty games. Like when I worked at KB Toys, I, I used to tell them. Okay. I used to tell people like, okay, you don't want to buy this one. But um, for the most part, yeah, no, that's fucked up. Honestly, it could just be for that you want the commission out of this. They don't, they don't honestly really care. I mean, I went to a. Uh, EV games here, or, or it's kind of like the Canadian GameStop, and I sort of asked the like, what sort of like requirements that do they take to actually get hired there? And for some reason, they don't even care if you have any experience in like video games at all. They, they'll even like, they'll, they'll take anyone. And it's like ridiculous. Like, I, if I've I've experience in video games, but no. Okay, we we will just accept people who can actually speak what Portuguese. You don't really need to know video games. I was at a GameStop the, the other day, and I just. Saw people like just trying to help kids, and, like you know, they didn't really do a whole lot of video game knowledge. I think the best sort of like GameStop like clerk would be a fucking snake or like salesman, you know, zero fucking like interest in like selling people things. Just sure. you know, you just know, you go leave your dime. Yo, can you stop for a moment? Sure. Oh, you're gonna yeah. pick him up? Yeah. Okay, I, like I don't, I don't play online. This is like the first time I really done it with you guys. I play a little bit with with with, with you, them, but yeah, that but. was a rough time we had there. You know, quality bonding. 
the thing is, we don't really even play this game the way it should be played. Like, we, we, we just find ways to fuck up the game, and uh, it usually doesn't quite happen that way, but sometimes oh, oh. you get lucky. <laughs> Come on, you all. I didn't even realize you were trying to, like, pick me up. <laughs> I thought you were, I was, like, I was, like, just scaring you because I was inside of a helicopter. Nah, you're just an asshole. <laughs> that might be true, friend. That might be true. I hate you. It's alright. I know I know that you love me deep down. No one really loves Dem. Dem, but, is, oh, Dem is just kind of like there. But, but Dem sure does love stuff deep down. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> uh. Alright. Where are you so where's the train me? right now? I don't know. I do, are we still doing train things, or should we do something else? Because it seems like we got all the funnies out of the trains. We could do, like, capture the flag or something cool like that. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Might be a good way to go. Because, right. I don't know, I, the thing is, we need to come up with more, like, fun, like, projects. We need more should, room for activities. You should, like, why haven't we, like... Taking a bus on top of like Mount Chiliad and like droving it off. That's English. Um, close. We did that actually, kind of. Oh. We we put an ambulance on the tallest building, drove it off, and uh, oh. I was jacking off the whole time. Oh, I didn't see that. But uh, we could do a bus on the mountain. That might be cool too. That like, might go be grab fun. a cargo, Bob. You guys, let's let's do um let's do some capture the flag. Oh, I didn't see that. But uh, we could do a bus on the mountain. That might be cool too. That I can go grab fun. a cargo, Bob. You guys, let's let's do um let's do some capture the flag. All right. By the way, how do, how do I jack off? Um, hold All right, the well, Joel, first what you got to do is you tug on the foreskin. You want to take your pants off. You want to make sure your pussy is not on its period, and then you want to buy Pafaf douches. <laughs> The only the only brand of douche that keeps you dry even in torrential downpour. But but Vinny, I don't, I don't have a pussy. I have like a back pussy. What's that? That oh. that's like. Oh. I'm pretty you sure know, they get wet all the time. Then you don't you, you don't know my feminine parts. You, you don't Me, know. I do. Oh, if you really want to jack off, so <laughs> you hold you the both buttons in at the same time. Sort of like jacking off in real time, huh? Yeah, but you gotta um, you gotta select it. You have to go to uh, player. Uh, actually, I don't know how to do it. What he means is you hold select, and under the action tab, the scroll. Oh, uh, keep pressing left or right on the D-pad until it says jerk. Yeah. And then when you're like on foot or in a car, not in a helicopter, just hold A on the action button, and uh, you should be jerking like a pro. You can actually hold both thumbsticks too. Yeah. If it's selected. You know all those terrible like simulator games people making like Unity. Why isn't there like a Pro Jerker 2014? My God, I should copyright this stuff. I should just like, you know, jerk well, the mouse up and down. Oculus, co you use the Oculus Rift, the <laughs> Oculus Cox Oculus. <laughs> And of course, you know, the, the, the only thing like that's keeping us from the future like, is like smell o vision Can you imagine like Jerk Off Pro 2014 with both like feel, smell, touch, and emotions? And emotions. The I smell, think there'd be some pretty it, strong emotions. I, I think the, the smells was enough. But now we're talking about feelings? Yeah. Oh no. That, that's a sixth sense. The feeling of rejection. You know what? You could do like a, a like a JO simulator while you're simulating. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm not talking about that 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 like gay stuff, Vinny. I'm talking about. Well, I am talking about gay stuff because you know straight men do experience being gay for two seconds after orgasm. So you know if you want to want to hate yourself for like two seconds, just jack off, and you're like, <laughs> I'll have no problems in the world. And two seconds after that, you're like, God damn it. That's yeah, I mean that, that's good too. I was actually gonna say in the Jo simulator, if it could simulate feelings, you could have the pity Jo, or the like the resentment Jo, or the guilty you know, Jo. We actually have a Swedish word for like, you sit in a fetal position, you cry and masturbate. It's called the Gudrunka. 
It's a real word. I you know, pe- people go off and go like, you know, smurgos bud. They say, you know, this and that, you know. But grotrunka. Now that's a multicultural word that you know, and I know. That yeah, it has a very specific. It's like Eskimos have like what fourteen or fifteen different ways to say snow, but the Swedes have one way to say crying while jerking off. That's fun. I, but you know what? Vinny, Vinny, Is there a word for crying while jerking off thinking about your ex-girlfriend? Because that's got to be like intense feels for the Oculus Cox Oculus to <laughs> simulate. Anyway, uh, d- capture the flag. Damn. All right, capture the flag it is. You want to get that right, started? Ca- capture the flag. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh... I love you, Dem. I know, <laughs> and I love you too. In a non-platonic way, platypus, platypusy. <laughs> the only animal retarded enough to what lay is eggs o- and have a duck bill. Wait, even ducks lay eggs. Never mind. How do platypuses give birth? Do, does the young just come out of their platypus? <laughs> All right. Mm. Mental images are, are wonderful. You know, you know, it's funny, Vinny, because you, you, you conducted this really professional, like, well-done interview, and here we are, like, talking about things that animal, matter. Animal oh. vaginas. It, yes. Just to put it all out there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, This I was my to... dream. This was my dream when I was young. You I know, knew I was going to be doing this when I got older. Tower of Guns, you know, Joe. And then you, I wonder if he, like, stuck around. He's just like, I made the biggest mistake in my entire life. He's damaged his brand by coming to Fine Sauce. One day, Joe, I Ashamed. promise. One day I'll make it up to you. With the uh, jack-offs, you kill this <laughs> See, that's... He can make it. We may not have the ability, but he does. He has the know-how. The motivation, the inspiration. He can make it bigger, better, faster. He doesn't, know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know the know-how. He knows the J O. Oh come on. <laughs> Me. Hey, you all accept the invite. You know how to accept invites? Not from you. You have to use your cell phone. Oh. And look for the game fan invite. Mm. Game I- fan. I don't want to spend like ten dollars to change my name, but I hate that name so goddamn much. There's um, I found a thing today, just to keep topical, because we've been talking about J O and because of this game. Uh, there's a video I found today called "How to Jack Off Sex Education in Belgium," and um, it's just a video of a, of a penis jacking itself off, and it's like for kids. And it's horrifying. I'm not going to tell you guys how to get there, but you know how to get there. Was it YouTube? It was on YouTube. Uh, it's disturbing. It's really fucking weird. Does it have any relation with with the thing Red Letter Media? Watch the uh, the Sex Education for Kids oh, the cartoon. No, 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 different. But <laughs> still really fucked up. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, by the way, uh, Chad, I recommend. Uh, I'm not gonna link that either, you know, you have to work the way of curiosity, but basically, it's like, if you haven't seen it, it's like a sex education cartoon for kids, and it's, like, really graphic, you know, you know, there, there, there's meat rods and, like, you know, leather donuts, there, there's the whole package, and it, it's, it's crazy, because, like, they really, like, explain an orgasm for, like, a three-year-old, and there's, uh, like, a duck staring at, like, a long, oh, yeah, schlong, and I'm serious. It, 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 this is entirely real, and it's called like, "Where did I come from?" or something like that. It, the, the worst part is he's right, but even worse than that is the duck. I think because at every moment, every critical moment, what you can see is the duck staring at the sex act, like it's amazed, and it's like they thought that that would be okay because kids could relate to the duck, but it just makes it creepy, like. Who wants to have sex while like a cartoon duck watches? I, w- I wonder if any child was like mentally scarred by that to the point where they're like, when they're gonna lose their virginity, they have to have like a rubber ducky staring at them or something. <laughs> yeah, like just oh man, 
oh, honk it. I love Red Letter Media for bringing me that. Like, I w we would have never known that existed unless it was for Mike and Jay and, and Rich. E and yes, even Rich. <laughs> Ow, my groin. I like when he bends down. And he's just like, ah! New AP material? What, all of this? Put no, that on yeah. AP. No, we're good. Someone will probably... I mean, lately people have been making a lot of, like, videos of just moments. I, I see them as, like, car crash documentaries. You can't look away. It's, it's a snapshot of something that we probably best not remember. But there it is. It's preserved forever on the internet. Moving in. If talk about two clowns jerking each other off. It's on YouTube forever. I talk about... What was what was the other thing I did that was made into a thing? Uh, Damn, you did it. You fucking did it. Uh, I can't even remember anymore. Uh, that's, that, that's how short my attention span is. Yeah, Spe speaking about the Holocaust, uh, I think I'm gonna do like an AP removal what? thing, and I'm just gonna replace the entire thing with that video where it goes bees, bees, and there's like a guy going magic missile, magic missile. Uh, you guys like that? The entire AP media. 24-7. 24-7. Uh, Joel, I don't think I would like that. What are, what are you even talking about? What is that? It's, it's kind of like, um... It... I don't know, I, I can't say the word, but, uh... It's sort no, of say like, the like, word. What is the word? No, no. Well, spell it. it. Spell it. Like we're children. You know, you know, ear, R, A, you know. You already get the idea. It's supposed to be like overlapping multiple sound clips. <laughs> and, oh, very loud. <laughs> They took like the loudest videos on YouTube, and there's this it, like infamous video of this like black guy coming, and he he goes. Oh right, I know, yeah, 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 yeah. And they overlap that with like uh, bees. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how you started this off. Speaking of the Holocaust, what a great conversation starter. That is the best segue you could possibly have. What we're doing again? Capturing a flag. Yeah, we're yeah, capturing a duffel bag. It's let's a duffel bag full of coke. Like tent things. <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, got an ATV coming up. Ow. Oh, they got me down. I have a story about Shrek, by the way. Would you like to hear about this story? Story. You're going to tell it whether we want to hear it or not. Yeah, Damn straight. So anyway. Man. I would love to hear that story. My mom uh, sits down to watch oh, Shrek 2 for Christmas. Sounds, that's good. And, and basically, you, you know this? You, you mentioned it the other day in chat yesterday. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I forgot about this my Alzheimer's, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, basically, my mom sits sits down with me to watch Trick Two, and I'm just like, you know, whatever, Trick Two, you know. At least we're watching something together that's not like cops, fuck's sake. But anyway, that's beside the point. The, the point is that we're sitting down watching Trick Two, and she watches the entire movie, and you know, I can barely focus. Cover me, cover me, cover me. I, I kind of am on my laptop at the same time. And at the ending scene, we're 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 great uh, female trick, Fiona, <laughs> Fiona, whatever her name is, turns like into a troll or whatever. Or, or m my mom goes, I swear to God, she goes, fuck, she got ugly. <laughs> she walks away from the TV. <laughs> wow. And that was it. She like couldn't watch the rest of the movie. No, it, no, she she is like, uh, she quit. Did she miss the whole point of the Shrek? <laughs> like, because so. you have to understand, onions are like ogres, and they ogres. have layers, and that's what the, the movie was trying to tell you. By the time you get to where Fiona becomes ogre, you're like a different person. You're like, you know what? I sympathize with these green cunts. And I don't know if your mom got the green cunt sympathization. Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't think she likes it. Oh, it's okay, man. Ecto pussy. It's a shame. You know, I, I told my mom the other day, you know, on the internet, you know, some people know me, and I, I, I sometimes tell stories to these people while I play video games. I try to, like, relate to terms where, where, where my mother can understand. I sometimes call it, you know, when you play Pac-Man? Imagine that, but there's, like, a booth of people listening to you. She's like, oh yeah, and we were just talking about like jacking off in the Holocaust. 
How do you phrase that to my mother? There are some things better left away from family, I believe. That's when you just go, yeah, I, 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 I work in radio, I, I play shitty music. Sure. But, well, where can I find you? Oh, I'm sorry, it's blocked in the U.S. Um, I have, you know, I have cards, and they're nice and colorful. And they have mushrooms on them, and they look like Luigi and everything. And um, one of my younger cousins saw the card that I gave to my older cousin at a family thing. And he wanted a card. He was like, oh, this looks like fun. I was like, you probably don't want to come to this website, because he was like 12. But it's deceptive, because it looks like such a nice, family-friendly, like, Mario Luigi-type website. And then you get here, and we're talking about Platypussy <laughs> and Green Ogre Cunt. So... Are, are Green Ogre Cunts, like, layers? They are layered, yeah. And they smell like a bog. Uh, so I was gonna that say... That was not a good myth. I, I keep my family and other people like that, my work, Facebook people, away from the stream as much as I can. I actually, um, no, this doesn't really relate to this. I talked about this during my, my just insanely lengthy, like, Half-Life 2 thing that went off, went off forever. But basically, I talked about some of my old friends. And, you know, for the people that haven't heard this, basically, you know, childhood friend, greatest guy in the world, you know, we did fucking, uh, you know, we didn't fuck. You know, we didn't fuck. You know, we didn't. You know, we didn't fuck. But, but we spent, you know, fucking summer camp. Not fucking some. You get the point. Basically, one of my best friends, you know, and one day he just stopped hanging out with me. You know, we were always doing stuff together. And, you know, we met during high school, you know. And I think it was the first year of high school. And I'm just like, hey, man, I haven't seen you in forever, man. Dude, what's up? You know, I was so happy. And I was talking video games with my other friend. And he goes, Joel, I haven't seen yeah. you in a while. I go, hey, dude, hey, what's up? Like, you're talking about video games. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dem. It's all right. And I, I, I go, w w w what, what, dude, what? And he's just like, video games, Joel. <laughs> I don't play with toys, Joel! <laughs> and I go, well, turn to a fucking, fucking cock. And it's like the guy was fucking abducted to Mars or something, like replaced by this, like, you know, entity that I, I do not know what this thing is, but it's not my friend, man. Like, he openly mocked me for, like, playing video games in high school. And I'm just like, really? Like, what, what the fuck do you do in high school? Except, like, I don't fucking know smoke during recess. Like, what fucking hobbies can you have? I mean, yeah, it makes sense if you're, like, you know, you're 50 years old. You're like, yeah, I might draw video games and, like, get a job or something. But but high school? I mean, Jesus. But, but man, that this guy was too cool for both having friends and video games. So, you know. Wow, it sounds like a real douchebag. Yeah. Joel, I'm going through the exact same thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm very, right. I'm very sorry for your loss. Honestly, honestly, what's even worse is I would rather have that friend be pissed at me and we end our friendship with him like screaming or like hitting my face with a chair or something, than to have him like slowly de degenerate into like an, a fucking human amoeba. You know, it's like, come on, don't, don't, don't go in fashion. Don't, don't, you know. Live fast and die hard. Don't 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 become dad, Jesus. But you know, video yeah, games. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, you get criticized for what you do sometimes, but as you get older, people are more accepting. I don't have any. I've never had a negative reaction when I told people what I did um, on the on the internet. But I'll tell you what, I do avoid telling people everything I do. Sometimes I leave out the video game part. If it's a particularly gorgeous lady, uh, but even then, I'll end up telling them, and they'll just be like, "Oh, that's cool," you know. And if they're interested, they're interested. If not, and they want to call me a baby, I'll, I'll go cry. Well, what unless do about it, I'll cry. Unless the go unless the gorgeous lady is like, you know, lady of the future, cock succulents. Can you have you did you did you actually know there's like some video of this like Japanese dude like uh -huh. sleeping with an Oculus Rift, and he's got like these like you know, he's got Sailor Moon and, like, Miku-chan next to him, and it's just like, I'm finally happy, <laughs> you know, and it's like, he's like, you're slaying there, 
you know, what do you do? Do you call him a loser or do you just like be happy for the guy? I mean, he's just, at least he's not lonely, you know, I guess. Sort of like the Matrix, you know, take the blue pill, but... Yeah, yeah. That's when you get your Oculus Cox Oculus, and, and you just let it let it do its thing. And you can, there. that's real, by the way, there is a real thing. It's not called that, but if you don't have any social skills and just throw that shit on... You got the anime bouncy boobies, and you just let let the thing suck you off. And I, you I don't got, have I, to leave your house ever again. You know, I'm 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 just gonna go on a limb here, a third limb, by the way. But you know, we, you know, I I'm not I'm not that much of a saint. You know, when I was a small boy, sometimes I looked at boobs on the internet, and my mom caught me once. She's like, "Don't look, look, look at that." And I'm wondering, what do children of the future have to do? Imagine them, like, strapped into the fucking Matrix, like, with a chair and everything, with their, like, fleshlight going up and down, their Oculus Rift, and, like, the, the smell of it, and, like, having, like, a, you know, rank leather donut smell. And, like, they're strapped into the zone, the pleasure zone. And when mom knocks on the door with, like, cinnamon buns and, like, you know, Kool-Aid, what do you do to, like, eject? Because back in the day, you can just click that shit down. But what, once you're strapped in, you can't, like, stop it. So, when, when you're getting, like, sucked off and your mom catches you, what do you do? Do you just go, like, I can't stop it, Mom, it's too much! What are we t <laughs> What? The fuck? <laughs> it's 3 a.m., I need sleep. I think we've reached a new low on this stream. Do you remember the part in Scary Movie 2? with the cum on the ceiling. If, if you don't, then don't worry about it. If you do, that's what I'm thinking. What's this weird oh, oh, tapping oh, in the background? I, I, I get it. You don't, you don't, you don't eject the porn, you eject, you lay the haha. What the fuck is going in the background? I, I hear a fact. You know, don't I did, you know what I did when I was really uh, uh, an idiot? My dad... <laughs> Once, you know, back in the day, when we weren't so deranged, we all had those, like, Pamela Anderson Playboy pictures, and my dad once caught that on my desktop because I was an idiot, and I, you know what I said? It was a virus. Which is deliberately a kind of true, because... There were the viruses. There were yeah, viruses exactly. that were like that. Yeah. And, and my dad believed me. Like, that virus is trying to get my son! Look at boobs. Back in my day, we had. Oh, there's noise in the background. Uh, I was just eating a candy cane. Oh, eating a candy wow. cane, quote unquote. <laughs> no, I I got caught um, looking a few times, but the thing my dad got most pissed about was when I got a, an AOL TOS violation. He abused the fuck out of my friend. Because my friend had something to do with it. All I did was go into a chat room and tell someone that they suck dick. And I got a TOS violation, and my dad found out about it. He got so mad. I will always remember that. I was like, well, why are you so mad at me? I didn't do anything wrong. I just told some random internet person that's not real that he sucks penis. When when I was six or so, or I'm gonna br I'm gonna reveal something extremely personal and embarrassing. So, you know, this is totally real, but... When I was six years old, <laughs> when I was six years old, I got access to my dad's computer, <laughs> and the first thing I typed in, in broken, broken English, was fat boobies. Fat boobies. <laughs> this showed on Google history, and my dad, that later evening, had like business associates come over <laughs> to his computer. <laughs> Would you double click on Google's? <laughs> there was like 50 search pages of like really fat movies and extremely fat movies. Oh my god. Why do you have a and, and here's the best part, it wasn't even like porn, I was just like curious about the human body. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> oh, oh, but it, uh, I swear to God, I have, to this day, 
I was so embarrassed about it that I actually like try to like block it out of my sensory. Like I I I I try to like say I didn't do that when I was six years old, you know. But deep down, I knew I was just lying to myself. When I was six years old, I went to my dad's computer and typed in extremely <laughs> fat. Get on, get on, get on. That's like pretty bad. It's almost as bad as sex.com. Yeah. I got you guys covered. Porn. www.porn.com. Did you Did you guys ever go to xxx.com? I don't think so. Uh, I, you know, I I used to be such a little shit in school. I used to like go on every public computer, type in xxx.com, and run. And people would be like, "Wow, there's like 40 computer terminals with this like porn on it." And I just sat there like, "Man, I'm the king of the world. Man, nothing can stop me." Until I got caught, of course. But but that's not the point. Okay, you know that's that's pretty bad. I have I can one up you on that one. I worked at the computer lab at my school, and uh, my friend Sal and a few other friends of mine, we had this little challenge where we would find the worst thing on the internet and show it to each other. So I found Swap.avi and Cockroach Eating Girl, which is a cockroach porn. It's a long story. So I ended up downloading it on one of the computer lab computers. Keep in mind, I worked there. And leaving it on the computer so that as soon as someone like moused over it, they would see this porn. <laughs> and um, that, I'm not proud of any of this, mind you, but I did it, and I won the bet, and I won a free lunch, and I had fucking the onion rings were so delicious the next day. But that was it. That's what I did. You, so, you kind of lost me with the cockroach porn, but but good story. It was it was real. Cock, bug eater too. Cockroach eating girl. It was a Japanese cockroach porn. It was probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. It involved a smoothie, and that's as far as I'm going. Oh god. The implications... What is with the Great East and just these things? You know, why is it, you know, somebody pr proposed this, like, theory that after World War II, you know, the Japanese were, were you know, they opened up to, like, you know, the Western world. And they got, you know, they, they were shown, like, you know, Playboy and shit, and they thought, we gotta have fun on this, we gotta just, like, go for the far most ridiculous, retarded-ass, you know, extreme. So, I, you know, people theorize that because, you know, they were late to the party, they went fucking crazy with it. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but, it, it, you know, it's gotta at least raise a question. Why is with the fucking Japanese and, like, cockroaches and, like, tentacles and, like... Uh, it's a good question. I, I think it has something to do with that. I also think it has something to do with how closed they are. Like they, you know, when you look at Japanese porn, not not saying I do, but I do. And when I have, I've noticed that you have to have little sensor bars over, like even in just a little portion of some of these things, and they're very very restricted from showing stuff. And I think that's why there's an outcry of tentacles. Seriously, you can't, like, show pubic hair or something. Like, there's always, like, this little skinny, like, double-finger-length sensor bar over a Japanese porn, over genitals. And it's like, that doesn't really cover anything. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, Raid is... Oh, wait, no. Do we want to do Raid? Yeah, you know, I, do raid. I, I gotta be perfect. Don't want to do Raid, then? I'm gonna do Raid. And, uh, some, for some reason, people are choosing grassroots. Guys, do uh, Raid, striptease. That, that could be cool. I swear that, was a, that, that was the same one from, from last time. Oh, this one's great. Do it, guys. I, I have not paid attention one second to what's on the well, fucking screen. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's I got I, I to, gotta, like, focus I think it's eyes. Time, I think it's time for us to calm down with the stories. Yeah, Jesus just, Christ. Enjoy yourselves. Not in a sexual way. But in a, uh, oh. You mean I you can't know. enjoy myself sexually while I'm playing GTA? <laughs> That's mm. the essence of... Of wetness. <laughs> well, 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 them, you know, memory low, memory roads like you know, straight. But for you, it's like, you know. no, don't e don't even finish that sentence, please. <laughs> don't. I love you. I love much. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, kiss, kiss. Do you know there's like. Uh, uh, a sub. All right, this is the last porn thing, but there's a sub <laughs> porn where they like, they like, they don't French ass, they don't do rim jobs, they gently kiss the tip of the like 
ring muscle. So they just go kind of. Oh. This was such a family friendly stream up until I started talking about pussies. Uh, and now we've arrived. Yeah, you know what? We, we mentioned sexual, sexual education, and I think we actually accomplished of them. Have you guys learned anything, chat? Do you guys know more now than you ever have? I, uh, I think there's someone that I said, hey, watch this, I'm on right now, when I was on Steam, who, uh, probably knows. I also am, <laughs> I think a real, my, like, my real life friend might be watching the stream at the moment. I think I saw him pop up in the chat before you started streaming. Uh, I think after this, uh, we all need to go to, like, Sunday school and, like, play Legos. It's, it's time for a spiritual detox. Yeah, I told my cousin that I they're doing a GTA Online stream over Steam, yeah. and I didn't realize it was going to get this bad. But let's then just again, find sauce. Let's just blame them. You see, this is why, again, I don't give my card to my younger cousins, <laughs> for example. Very similar reason. Ooh, plane. Yes, plane. Am I doing this right? I that'll work, yeah. Actually, <laughs> you should be fine. Alright, All right. Actually, I'll right. try to keep it as steady as possible, though I don't think you're gonna make it. Ah! Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Hi. Sorry. No, what you're doing, Finn. Like strict on that. I thought it was like in GTA 4 where you can like pull that shit off, but no, I had to suck out all the fun out of it. Yeah. It's a little right, them. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I can't take this much abuse. Oh, yes, you can. Wait, Let's wait. go. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, uh, Joel, you looking for a pilot? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. You need someone to, uh, handle the joystick. <laughs> Why is that funny? Oh, yeah, my God! Is that an enemy truck? There's an enemy truck over here. I didn't nice. even see that guy. I was looking at the chat for a second. Jesus. Yeah, fuck the chat. They're not that important. <laughs> Twitch doesn't think so. We're gonna stop the cater. Do the hey. drone strike. You all, it looks what? like we have to jump. <laughs> oh. Synchronization, wow. How do I open the parachute? How do I do that? How do I do that? Hey, for safe, for safe, for safe, for safe. Oh, no, 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 I'm like stuck! Oh, shit! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that was very dangerous. Did I land it with my, like. Was it dangerous? Yeah. Dangerous. It's the problem Stop. is, every time you get over there. Someone Dora, is, is ready to shoot you in the face. Don't worry, I, I think I'll keep you covered for a bit. Whoever's dry, uh, flying it. Fuck. Oh, I think it's, it's too, me. Late, too late. Red one? Yeah, red one. Oh, that's me. Okay. Alright, Vinny, I, 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 I played Star Fox. We can do this. Okay. King of Corneria. <laughs> Fuck that other guy, though. I don't know if you're right. That was me. Oh, sorry. Hey, Dirty. Oh, don't worry, don't oh, worry. God. I'm good. You're the plane right behind you. I'm good. Hang on. It's gonna take off any second now! Oh! How's the blue marine box? Hey, uh, oh, Dan, let me get him Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No! I almost made it out with a duffel. Alright, we can do this shit. Right. I'm gonna confuse him for a bit. Check this out. You gotta know your enemy. Wait a second. Alright, let's go! Alright, I guess this is the attack chopper. Damn. How do I get out of the fucking parachute? <laughs> you can do it, cool name, I believe in you. Nope, there's the power lines. No, no, you got it. You got it, nice, nicely yes. done. Right, Hopefully it doesn't it. explode before we get there. Ah, you did it, okay. I'm not getting any lift whatsoever. I'm trying. You haven't lived. 
do you? There we go. Fuck. If, you, if you're gonna play like that, sub, I'm gonna do that too. Oh, that's dumb. Thing. Lester. So, I don't get it. This is kind of like capture the flag in. Yeah. All right. Much. Here we go. I got uh, Meriwether coming in with the backup heli. Okay. Ready, cool name? Yep. Go. We're getting all tactical about this. This is great. There's one coming on the road. Get ready to shoot. Or not. Just... Oh! Shit. Okay. You alive, cool name? Yep. Run them over! So far. Uh -huh. Uh, I think they have a, a, an attack helicopter. Oh, no, no, that, that's like the method. Where do you think I think? <laughs> I don't know if this game is like completed it. Fuck! Oh. I stay out. Losers. Guys, chat sectioning weird again. Well, that's what you get when you have 900 people. And some of them coming from 4chan. Don't make, me talk, don't make me talk about Japanese support to make you guys, like, want to chop off your penis. Star Wars Christmas Special? Oh, yeah. That's a classic. Yeah, it's... <laughs> so bad, it's... horrible. You know, uh, when a Christmas special has noises like this, ah, you're in for a real treat. And no subtitles. You can actually judge, like, a really bad movie if it's, like, legitimately bad or not. Just watch it on mute and make up your own dialogue. Can you fill in the blanks to make it a good movie? Or is it, like, legitimately screwed? You, like, watch the Christmas special of Star Wars and just, like, do your own dialogue. Fill in the Wookiee. And I swear, you will you will not find any, like, gold nuggets under that. You, you kind of can't, and, and the best part about the Star Wars Christmas special is George Lucas tried so hard to make yeah. it disappear. This he tried so hard, he got rid of all the stuff. That kind of is r reminding me a little bit when Kiss made their, like, motion picture. Uh, Kiss meets a Phantom of the Opera. And it's so funny, I think, I think, uh, in that movie, Eric Carr is, like, so drunk or whatever that they had to, like, dub over his lines because he couldn't say anything properly, so... You know, we should have just, like, a like a, like a catastrophic movie night where we watch things, Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Opera, and, like, the Christmas Star yeah. Wars special. Yeah, that would be cool. And afterwards, we can, like, ingest cyanide and, like, forget about it. We could in inject squid ink into our cock holes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, nice landing. Did you? I'm sorry about that. Did you guys see that? That was fucking amazing. Um, holy crap! You gotta be careful on this hill because you'll go straight down face fucking first. Also, the Star Wars Christmas special. Carrie Fisher was on so much coke that when she had to sing her song, they turned the music all the way up. It still sounded like shit. <laughs> I wish you were joking. It's real. Wait, singing a song for a, a Star Wars holiday special. I swear to God, watch it. It was <laughs> Princess Leia sings, and she was coked out of her mind. The only what? redeeming factor of the Star Wars Christmas special or holiday special was the fact that there was a, a little Boba Fett cartoon, and that was officially Boba Fett's first introduce introduction. She was so coked up, she sounded like Peter Townshend's solo career. Peter who? Mus music joke. <laughs> With Pete who? Townsend? Yeah. He didn't what have a solo it? career. Oh. oh wait, maybe he did actually. <laughs> you see, that's how it's that's terrible. That's the joke. Obviously. Yeah. He had a solo finger career that he liked to put in little people. Anyway. String. Oh. Um, I just want to say, if you break a wheel on your bicycle, on your, on your motorbike, ditch the bike immediately. You will not succeed at this game. Well, anything really. Except, you know, if you're in a breaking the wheel on your motorcycle competition. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you know what, though? It's even worse on the mountain. You and your obvious obvious competitions that I'll never be a part of. 
Speaking about like horrifying like sci-fi things, have you seen that that ad with uh, Leonard uh, Nimoy? Like, uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, Farrell. God, what? For, fucking Farrell or Farrell? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking about um, who? Who the fuck no. plays Kirk? Uh, William Shatner. Yeah. Oh. William Shatner and like Leonard Nimoy. They're both together in this like ad for for I think it's like a phone or something like that, a phone line or something like that, and. It's just like LSD trip nightmare. They're all like slow motion laughing and like eyeing the viewer. And it's fucking terrifying. If anybody can like find a link to that and post it in chat, please do. Because it's it's just surreal. It, it's so strange. All they're doing is like slow motion laughing at you. Like there's a sort of like fever dream. Dem, are you in the game? Yeah, I'm in the game. I'm just being quiet. Are you typing in, ch in chat? Why? No, I'm just curious, are you, is everything okay? Um, it seems okay. I have the Wii U with the Tango on it, so it's... I really... You can do a lot of sh You can do a lot of shit with the Wii U. Mac Diddy posted it. Other than video games, for some reason. I haven't bought a single vi Wii, ga Wii U game in, like, months, sadly. You know, it blows my mind that Nimoy and, and Kirk... And Kirk and Shatner are both 80 years old each. Just unbelievable. Didn't Stan Lee turn 91 recently, too? Stan Lee turns 91. Kirk Douglas turned 97. And he did a little thing Ooh. for a Stanley Kubrick, you know, tribute. And he doesn't sound good. You know, he's, he's like, he lost his motor functions. Or it, it's bad. But for 90 fucking seven years old... I gotta say something serious though, like, I like Kubrick a lot, you know, 2001, you know, Clock Over Orange and all that, but... Sometimes it gets a little pretentious, I mean, it, great movies and all that, but like... I, whenever I want to like, show off Clockwork Orange to people, like, that I haven't seen it, I'm just like... I, I'm like, you know, can we skip the scene where like, there's a giant cock in the room? Plastic cock? You know, shit like that. You know, it could have done without that. You know, there wouldn't have been that much fluff left out. You know, but Kubrick had this way of like doing movies, I guess. But but goddamn, I I happen to like that scene quite a bit. Oh, but that's just me. Uh, I guess I I just don't understand movies. I, it's, stick, stick to SpongeBob, you plebe. It, you know what it is? It's it's uh, I think. It's I'm penis gonna, envy. I'm it's gonna penis sound, envy. I'm going to sound like such a jerk off saying this, but I think Kubrick tried to make a parallel about the penis of us. <laughs> being the uh, the death of this person. You know, like some kind of like like really hipster, pretentious bullshit kind of stuff. Can you also explain the scene where where the um, the old guy, you know, in the wheelchair, his like bodybuilder guy is like played by Darth Vader? Can you explain that too? David Prowse. Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. That, that's him? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I like that that guy, that muscle guy. He's just, just there. He looks like that one guy from uh, Flight of the Clouds. Flight of the Clouds, <laughs> Jermaine! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I love that movie. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm a huge Kubrick fan. I don't... I have plenty of complaints about Kubrick stuff, but overall, I, I love his work because every time you watch it, you get something new out of it. The Shining is one of my favorite movies. Clockwork you want to know Orange. something surreal? I talk about how my mother like this Miss Trek completely, yet 2001 is her favorite movie. Wow. And 2001 is is a, a very tough movie to get a grasp on. That's not like that's not Star Trek 2. That's not Wrath of Khan. Speaking about Star Trek, by the way, the first Star Trek movie is actually my favorite because it is like 2001, slow. Goes nowhere really, and, and it's just like, oh, this sure paid off. And you probably know this, but it introduced the next generation theme song. Oh yeah, because in uh, the the docking scene where the Enterprise is leaving its its bay, there's a, a theme that you hear for the first time. It's da 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 da, and it's really slow. They then turned that, when they needed the Next Generation theme song, they turned that theme into a faster theme. They reworked it, retooled it a bit, and uh, 
there you go. So that's why the first Star Trek movie is probably the best, because it's it's more like space, and it's more like the show. Star Trek 2 is great. Star Trek 4 is just fun. Which which one is the one where they go like back in time to get four. the whales? That's four. Four. Right. I, I like that one. I don't. I like it because of the character moments, but as a sci-fi movie, it's just it's retarded, you know. But uh, I like to see the characters do stupid things. Uh, that was the of movie. Sci-fi. By the way, just real quick, that was the movie that got Next Generation made. If that movie wasn't successful, there probably wouldn't have been Star Trek Next Generation. Does that count as sci-fi or oh, yeah. alternate history? I don't think sci-fi. What do you mean alternate history exactly? Uh, that's no, like because a, it's a fucking animal documentary about the monkeys. No, you, you, you dingus. It's fucking sci-fi. God, it's like you don't even know what you're seeing. You plebe, you cretin, you philistine. Don't you enjoy movies where like elderly women are being like beat to death by plastic dogs? God, learn some cinema. Singing in the rain. In the rain. Are, are you guys just gonna camp the bag? Like, oh god, what have I done? It, we need that one bag safe. They're obviously a better team than us because we're just. Uh, this guy isn't dying. Break. Yes. Like, like I've shot an entire mag with the auto shotgun into him. Whoa! You know, I, I just got disconnected. My God, I can't even remember what was uh, uh, Malcolm McDonald. Uh, <laughs> Played by Malcolm McDonald. Uh, fuck! That's one guy that had his career like down the shitter. My God, that guy was in the Fist of the North Star, the live action movie. Like, wow. I, I was doing a little research on Mr. Malcolm McDowell recently, because I think he's great. But I only think he's great in some things. And um, from, from like, 68 to 19... Like, 80, he was in a handful of movies. And then from, like, 1985 on to now, he was in tons of movies. Like, three or four or five a year. Like, this is a dude who just does not say no. He takes every role he gets, and they're mostly terrible. I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm, I'm, seriously, I find this to be fascinating. And then I'm gonna get going. I'll check out the art and everything. But, um... Yeah, Malcolm McDowell played Alex in Clockwork Orange, and he played Sauron... Sauron... <laughs> in, uh... Star Trek Generations. He played a lot of good roles. Caligula. He's... A great, prolific actor. But you guys need to see this garbage. Check this out. Let me get this all set up. Alright. Right. So from... 69... To like 1980. Alright. So, or 68 to 80. How many years is that? That's 12 years. He did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 10, 11, 12, 13 movies, 13 movies. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the full list on stream. Check this out. This is a man who dis who says no to nothing. Okay. What the fuck does this man do with his life? He's got nothing else to do except in 2010 alone, he was in like 10 things. So, yeah. Fist of the North Star, there you go. The live action Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Tank Girl. My god. M Mr. McDonald, you've come. You've fallen. That kind of reminds me. Did I ever show you Nunslaughter? No. Well, if you don't know Nunslaughter, they're like a, a thrash death metal band. And the amount of releases they put out every year is insane. Now, take a look at these titles. You just go down their entire, like, discography, like, my god. How could one band just, like, spew such metal, uh, like, into nowhere? Like, are they, they good? No. They're not but good. that's beside the point. You know, it, it's, it's, my god. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Right, look at this, guys. Take a look at this. 
this is when doing too much can, can I think, be a bad thing. But I don't know. Maybe someone likes these guys. Maybe to, I do. Maybe you do. Uh, f- I like Fuck That Cunt. That was a great album from uh, 2006. Classic. Followed by Fuck the God in Heaven. Another great one. See, once the God was fucked in heaven, the devil had his day. Metal Assault on the Adelaide. Metal Assault on Sydney. All 2006. None slot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. She, she got, like, just click on him and, like, read the titles. It's, it's great, you know. The titles look great. This is know. coming from a guy. Now, look, I know you, you enjoy metal for its funny stuff, too. I can enjoy a funny title, but I'm also, like, when I look at this, I'm just like, what? <laughs> what are these people doing? Mother Cunt Whore and Satanic Slut are on a very good album. Slutty Cryptic Mother. Um, the Bog People. It's like four songs on the album. Jesus Christ. Goat. Sacrificial Zombie. The Guts of Christ. Thou Art in the Kingdom of Hell. The Sephiroth. Oh my god. I'm done. How much would it be like to buy their entire discography? Don't. I, I don't. I don't think you have enough money for that, my friend. I don't think you. I, I, honestly, to be perfectly honest, I think it's actually impossible to like acquire their entire fucking discography because one, like half of it is just like a terrible demo crap recorded in their mother's basement. Two. Who listens to, like, Gun Slaughter on an evening? Like, oh, I could, like, watch a movie. No, fuck that. I'm going to listen to, like, The Bog People. Unbelievable. It's, wow. And I, truth to be told, you like Gun Slaughter, man. But, my God, the amount of, like, stuff they put out, like, it's impossible to be a, fi- a fan of it. Like, go to a show. Like, if you follow a band, you expect them to, like, uh, play the classics, like, it's kind of impossible when they have like seventy nine thousand goddamn albums, you know. Jesus. Yeah, I, I thought seeing the Flaming Lips was rough because, excuse me, they have like twelve albums or something like that. They only did three songs I really liked. How many albums did they have? They've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen albums, and I was like, oh fuck, well I'm not going to hear the hits. I didn't. I heard three songs I liked. The rest of it was just like. Diarrhea toilet noises, but um. Uh. Anyway, I'm done. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up on you guys now. I'm gonna check out the art and I'm gonna go eat. Okay. Dem. All right. Dem. Yes. A Wood, my cool name, and Joel. Thank you guys for joining me on this evening. It was really fun. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for including me. Thanks yeah. for having me on stream. You're very welcome. I had a great time, and uh, hopefully we'll do this again next week. So, you guys take care. Alright, All right. see ya. See ya. Yep, see ya. I love you. Bye. This guy's driving around. <laughs> Fucking Santa Claus. Uh. <laughs> Goodbye, Santa Claus. Alright. Viewers, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining us. I had a fun day today. We did a lot. I played some Animal Crossing earlier, way earlier. I did some some other stuff that I don't remember. <laughs> um, then we did a nice interview with a nice man. Good man. Good man. Seriously, though, Tower of Guns, that dude was really nice, and I enjoyed that interview. And uh, I, I really hope you guys check out the game. And, uh, again, always a pleasure to have you guys here. Check out some of that art if there is any. And then you guys can do whatever you'd like. Uh, okay, we got quite a bit tonight. Or, or a few. It's at least a few things. The first is this from AQW Omega 777. Okay. Yeah. From High Score Heroes. It's pretty good. I don't really quite have a mustache, though, like that. But, uh, okay, I'll take it. From Trina, 
here is um, the microphone. It's a potato's asshole microphone, which is what someone was, it sounded like that dude was using earlier. Very nice drawing, Trina. Um, from Manduka Eater, this is Joel Pokemon Sims 3. Okay, so this is from Joel's video. Very accurate representation of Pikachu. Uh, Mateu submitted this. Uh, I think it's from Space Engineers. I'm not sure what's going on in it. Space Engineers Hospital, Vine Station. Oh, okay, so he made like a little house in Space Engineers. It's cool. Uh, from my big black clock, he tried. Thank you. From Lizaroro. Liz I'm just going to call you Liz, okay? That's pretty cool. Um, from Clickety. Oh, it's a GIF. There you go. <laughs> from Manduka Eater. Stream overheat. We'll be right back. Add that to my uh, BRB folder. From Trina. Oh yeah, that was earlier. My character was able to wank as he ascended into space. Oh my god, from a non-ball. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Ah. Uh. Only this stream would get art like this. From Trina, there's my character, or a character, stuck under a, a thing. Oobly Doobly drew art, and it's taking like 10 years to load. So, we'll, I don't know what to do about that one. It's, it's fucking huge. Uh, there's a few other things, too, that I haven't showed on stream, so I may as well show those while I wait. This is from GenStream. I suppose that's the boomer. This is also from GenStream, from Maximum Pingas. This is when they were playing Left 4 Dead, and Gen and everyone were raptors. And just from MK3Y, we miss you, stupid face. I love it. I love Wario style thinking. Fat butts. Okay, let's use our fat butts. Touch me. Oh, touch me. Oik. Oik. Oh. I miss stupid face too. Um, Ubli's drawing is, is still loading. I don't think I've quite ever seen anything load this slowly on, on our site. So I'm going to show you what it is. That's that's as much as I've loaded so far. And I started as soon as I checked the art. So I'm just going to show you that and you can imagine the rest. Thank you guys so much for joining in. You can expect more GTA Online antics sometime next week probably. As for me, uh, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow with some more streaming. Stick around. There may be more streaming tonight on the site from one of our other streamers. And, uh, you know, thanks again. You guys are the best. Bye, everyone. Check out Tower of Guns, towerofguns.com.